Hey guys, alright, I just went ahead and flashed CM10 on my Galaxy S3. Uh, this is the first time that I'm actually about to uh, reboot and check this sucker out. So let's go ahead and uh, go back here. Reboot system. Alright, first time I'm going to boot up Jelly Bean. I've yet to use Jelly Bean. I have not uh, used the Nexus 7 tablet yet. Um, obviously, I've seen videos. Uh, and I, I'm basically experiencing this for the first time myself, so pretty excited. All right, you got a nice splash screen, uh, the little Cyanogen mod. Okay, let's see. It's a Cyanogen mod 9, but uh, I think that's just the splash screen hasn't been updated now. I'm not sure if I need to flash a separate kernel per uh, the uh, instructions. The kernel is included with the uh, zip, so... Hoping we can get booted up here with no issues. Uh, you know, this is always the most stressful moment because uh, you don't know if you're just going to get stuck at the splash screen, what you did wrong. Uh, that's why you always need to create a backup. Anytime you do flash ROMs, create a backup uh, so that if you run into any errors, ah, that's a good sign right there, those little lights flashing. Anytime you run into any errors, you got a NAND backup created so you can always go back. All right, there we go. Okay. Alright, so let's just go ahead and uh, head into settings here. I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, ooh, this thing is buttery, buttery smooth. I see what they're saying. This, ooh, there we go, 4.0.1. Ah, jelly bean. Nice little jelly beans floating around all over the place. Cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take a quick little tour here. Alright, so, um... I'm just gonna leave this on the table actually. Okay, so we got a live wallpaper in the background running phase beam clearly. In terms of scrolling, this thing is buttery, buttery smooth. Uh, it just feels good, it feels smooth to my touch. Uh, it's pretty much um, instant. And you gotta remember, you're running on two gigs of RAM here. I'm just trying to open a bunch of apps here to see how the multitasking is because, oh, that is instant. Oh, the swiping is so much smoother than an ICS. Uh, and you're not going to get bogged down, obviously, with um, TouchWiz. This is stock Jelly Bean. Um, they say it's pretty solid for a daily driver. So far, so good. I mean, obviously, it's been, you know, what, a few seconds I've been using it. So um, I'll make a video once I use it to a fuller extent to let you guys know how it's going. I'm going to use it for a couple days, possibly the entire week. Uh, and if I like it, I, you know, I'll continue using it. Um, Alright, so let's just go ahead. I just want to, you guys are probably wondering what I'm doing here. I just want to go ahead and t test something out here. So let's see. Okay, so I've opened up a bunch of apps. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to open the multitasking and I want to see how scrolling is. Oh, that's smooth. Oh, come back. That is smooth as Ooh, Project Butter. Smooth as Project Butter. And this isn't even Project Butter, and it's smooth. Uh, so you can only imagine what it's going to be like once Project Butter is ac actually released. Uh, let's see what happens if I long press on the home screen. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and click on wallpapers. Okay, so you get the jelly bean wallpaper. I'm going to set this wallpaper here. Okay. We've got a... Uh, Galaxy S3 here running on Jelly Bean 4.1, I believe 0.1. Uh, let's go ahead and check the keyboard here, test that out. I always like these uh, CM keyboards. Oh, that is nice. Nice, nice and smooth and uh, runs well. Let's go uh, on a network here. Now let's see how my HSPA Plus runs here. Oh, pinch zoom, butter, butter. All right, let's go to Engadget. That's always a uh, that's a heavy website. So scrolling on Engadget will basically give you an idea what you're really dealing with here. Brett, hold on, hold on. I'm doing a video as you call. Guess what I just installed? What? I just installed Jelly Bean, and this thing is smooth. You want to say what's up to the viewers? Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, man, y'all, y'all fuck with Bears, man. He got the best uh, videos. And when you're done checking him out, man, holler at the check, man, dude. Thank you.
Android laced, you know what I mean? With iOS, they're getting smothered. And uh, this is what it do, Galaxy Note, Galaxy S3, HTC One X, the top three phones in the game. That's what it is. You know it, sir. I absolutely agree with that list. This is Hood Tech Man at YouTube, Hood, Hood Tech Man at Twitter. Add him on Google Plus. Follow him. He's uh he's my phone guy. I mean, literally, he'll have he'll have the device before the device is even announced. That's Brett. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with the video, uh, Brett. I'll call you a little later, bro. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. All right, and that was uh, Perfecto. He again, he's my phone guy. Uh, he's uh. Real big tech guy, real big Android guy. He's anticipating the Note 2, which I know a lot of people are. Uh, oh, scrolling on the mobile website. Oh, my God, that is smooth. And let's go ahead and check the desktop website. As you can see, loads, you know, while it's uh, loading, scrolling, no checkerboarding, no white, you know, lags, no laggy, no lag whatsoever on the scrolling. Oh, this thing is, I mean, I thought jelly bean was, I thought ice cream sandwich was fast, which it is, but this is... This is on another level. You know, pinch zoom, you could you know pan around the screen, and you can just see the smoothness, the frame rates. It's just so much more. Uh, I don't know how to say. I, I guess a little more refined version of ICS. Um, and again, I didn't think that was possible because I was of the impression that ICS was pretty much the icing on the cake for Android. Uh, let's see. Put a widget here. I haven't added an account. Added, haven't added an account. So let's just go ahead and see if I can put the calendar. Okay, can I resize it? Yes, I can. Gives you the option to resize. I like that. Um, in terms of settings, oh, just looks good. Looks nice. Not, you know, I like it this way. It's simple. It doesn't have a, you know, it's not as colorful as TouchWiz, but it's it's it'll do. I like the uh, simplistic look. Um, so other than that, you know what? Actually, I wanted to check. Uh, Google now, let's see how that, that works here. Okay, so that looks like a very, very old Google search. Looks like the Google search from Eclair <laughs> 2.1. So, uh, yeah, there you guys go. Uh, just a quick overview of Jelly Bean for uh, the Galaxy S3. Uh, let's just move it like this. You know what? I thought that there was a way to. Okay. So I guess, yeah, if you pinch out or you pinch in, I guess it expands the notification, which is really cool, really, really cool. Mm-hmm. You know, it's pretty bare bone at this point, so there's really nothing else for me to look at. Maybe the phone dialer. Like that. It was pretty much like 4.0.4 4. Uh, 4. stock uh, dialer. And uh, there you guys go. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Any installation questions, I'll go ahead and post installation uh, on the description below. Try to do that as soon as I can. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Take care.